Welcome to a very special episode of Upcycling with Deb. I'm your host, Deb Colometta. This episode of Upcycling with Deb is actually part of a class that I'm teaching online. If you would like to join the class, you can go to the Debinars tab on the website www.thedebsite.com. Com. If you sign up there, you'll be able to see some of the tools that I'm discussing during the class, and you'll be able to see the free printables and the syllabus that we've got so that you'll have a little bit more structure as you follow along. The class is to help you declutter and purge your home for that lighter feeling and to help you establish a new precedent for how you bring in items into your space going forward. So I hope you'll join us officially through thedebsite.com and you can follow along with any of the course printables that you'd like to print out or follow along on screen, listen in your car, listen as you declutter your home, whatever you prefer. We call this type of on-demand learning, on-demand learning. Ha ha ha. So I want to make it convenient for people to follow along so you can print out things, listen, watch, whatever suits your learning style. My background is teaching. So I have been teaching classes to graduate level students for over seven years. So I'm really excited to be able to roll all that experience into this class for you. And while my graduate students receive the benefit of my consulting and tech expertise and meeting management. Um, to get there and to finish that class, they spend about $2,000 and submit about 50 pages in written assignments. You, on the other hand, are going to get a very different benefit. You're going to have hopefully decluttered most of your home and you will be hopefully inspired to start selling some of the items that you've decluttered and help reduce your, your carbon footprint. So I'm going to give some structure to that effort and you're going to have a, a great uh, deliverable at the end of this class. So by the end of this class, this online webinar or debinar, you will have purged your house of over 200 items. Don't be scared, I'll walk you through it. You will have listed three items to sell online, or at least targeted three items. You'll find cost-effective ways and strategies and tools so that you can keep up with your purging efforts throughout the year. And you'll also make a sizable donation of working items that you just don't need anymore in your home. Pass them along, pay it forward to someone else who could use the items. So as I mentioned, I am a teacher for graduate students and I wrote a book recently called Best Offer, Best Life. And you can get that on Amazon, or you can go to my website for more information. But the book Best Offer, Best Life chronicles our family's journey to declutter and purge our home. We have a tiny house right outside Boston and wanted to um, basically make it more comfortable. And we were starting to drown in junk. And I know, especially after the holidays and after different seasons of the year, it seems that people, um, you know, whether it's after a birthday party or a holiday where gifts are given, you have that sense of overwhelming feeling of, ugh, I'm drowning in my own stuff. I can't get out of my own way. I can't function in a place that's so cluttered. So there's that natural ebb and flow of the junk tide. <laughs> so the key is to ride the wave. So when you feel like you are ready to do some purging, when you have the urge to purge, that's when you have to strike. It doesn't matter if you have a half hour window or you have a whole day cleared, but really realistically, 
who ever has a whole day cleared in their schedule to do purging. So this is why I want to make the class accessible. I want to break it into parts for you so that you can feel like you can achieve it. And it's just a finite time here. It's 21 days, three weeks. There are different modules to follow, different assignments that you can do. And at the end of it, like I said, you're going to have a much lighter feeling in your home. And it's really empowering to know that you are in control of your stuff and not the other way around. Take back that, that control and make this the tipping point. Say enough is enough. I'm going to take back control of my space. Your space can be your car. It can be your house. It can be your office. Whatever space is feeling cluttered, you can follow along with this course. This is the class book. <laughs> convenient that I wrote it, Best Offer, Best Life. And we'll be doing a little bit of a Deb's deeper dive into some of the sections of the book. You can get it in digital format for just a couple of dollars, or you can buy it on Amazon or through my website, thedebsite.com. It's just a short little book. It's about 100 pages. It's a quick read. It's designed to be read in less than two hours so that you can get to your decluttering and selling efforts. So I wrote the book, Best Offer, Best Life, as a way to inspire my friends and family and help them to figure out how they can declutter and financially benefit from selling their stuff online and just getting it out of their space. So I'd also like to help you do that as well through this course. They say it's, it takes 21 days to create a new habit. I've often done a 21-day detox, which I um, link to on my website, thedebsite.com. And that's been a hugely important thing as far as maintaining a good weight for me and losing weight um, and getting off so much sugar. And it's it's been very important for my family as well. So I've found that every time I do a round of 21 days and trying to cultivate a particular habit, it's been very effective for me. And oftentimes I try to do it back to back to back to really emphasize and cement that new behavior. Here. It's kind of like doing a diet, but a diet for your stuff, which is, I think, a lot easier. <laughs> You're talking about making a lifestyle change. So it's not just about going through your space and getting a pile of things that you feel like you can throw away or donate or sell. It's about cultivating a new mindset. What do you let into your space in the first place? Knowing that your space is sacred to you and maybe to your family, and to respect your space by not cluttering it with tchotchke and junk in the first place. And as I mentioned in the book, if you do enough purging, you know that it takes a lot of time. Junk management is like a full-time job. So that really kills your appetite for going out to a large big box store and filling your cart with more stuff that you then bring into your space. So the more you can do this, and you can go through the class more than once, the more you do this, the more you emphasize to yourself, and maybe hopefully to your household members, that you don't want to bring it into your space in the first place. And you become much more better about um, respecting your own space, much like when you change your nutrition. Rather than eating everything you can and then trying to deal with losing the weight after the fact, the key is, as with eating, don't eat it in the first place. Don't consume it as a consumer. Don't purchase the new things in the first place. It's the easiest way to stay ahead of it. And why this is better than a diet, so to speak, is because you can actually accelerate your results. So with a, a new diet or nutrition pattern, you have to be patient. You have to lose only a couple of pounds per week or month. And there's really no way to expedite that over the long term in a sustainable way. But with decluttering your house, you can get rid of as much stuff as you want. You can't just sign up for a diet and say, hey, I'm going to lose 10 pounds this week and 10 pounds next week and 50 pounds the next week. But guess what? With decluttering, that's exactly what you can do. You can decide, I'm going to get rid of 10 things today, 20 things tomorrow, 30 things the next day, whatever you feel 
comfortable with. You can go at your own pace. There are, there's no purging police that's going to tell you you're going too fast or you're going too slow. You do it at a pace that's comfortable for you. But I do urge you to take a look at the syllabus that I've created in the class, and that has a nice outline and a good checklist for you to go through to give structure to your purging efforts. The other thing that the syllabus does is that it helps you to write down what you're accomplishing. I don't have a lot of printables in the class on purpose because I don't want to be adding to the clutter in your space with more papers, but I do feel that it's important to print out the syllabus if you can so that you can have a place to make some notes and also so that if you do the class a couple of times, you'll be able to compare notes and see your progress every time you go through the course. The other thing is there's that expression and management. What gets measured? gets managed. So if you look at the syllabus, and as you can see, there are many different tasks that you can do, very simple, some repetitive things that you just keep doing to help develop the habit. Print out the syllabus, take a good look at it, just like as if you were taking a class in high school or college, and take a look at the overview and what's expected. Write some things into your calendar so that you treat it like an important appointment, which it is. This is going to be a three-week effort, and I'm hoping that you put your whole heart and soul into it so you get the best results. After you take a look at the syllabus and print it, you can then go online and take the Pledge to Purge. And you can just read this online. You could print it out if you would like, if you have the space in your house and you have a printer, that's fine. Um, or you can just read it and really be mindful of the intent of it. So the Pledge to Purge is that you will purge daily and with intention. So I don't mean purging items um, and taking the challenge to discard five items a day through the duration of the class and just throw them away. Or I was going to throw this away anyway, so I'm going to count it as one of my five. I want you to go above and beyond something that you might have normally discarded and find something that you can remove from your space that you no longer need anymore. And you can just set it aside in the beginning. Um, if it's broken or you don't think anyone else can possibly use it, you can recycle it or throw it away. Um, and if you think you can sell it, maybe put that in a special pile. If you want to give it to someone in particular, put that aside and make sure you make plans to actually um, give it to the person. Also, make sure that you do the assignments that are on the syllabus because that makes it um, a little bit more of a robust thing than just going through your house and decluttering. Involve household members whenever you can. This is also part of the pledge to purge because you want to sustain this as an ongoing effort. And it's fine. It's easiest sometimes to just do things ourselves. But if you want people to help it contribute to your efforts and to make it so that it lasts beyond just the 21 days, you're going to have to enlist the help and cooperation of the other household members if you live with other people. You can also take responsibility for your own contribution. So during the 21 days of the class, I'm hoping that you'll really be mindful about what you bring into your space. Can you avoid that big shopping trip? Um, can you try to take in less than what you're putting out with your purge? Kind of like with a diet, you know, caloric intake, you have to have a caloric deficit before you're going to lose any weight. So with clutter, you can't just declutter 20 things, but then go to a big box store and have a cart full of 50 things and bring it into the space. It's not quite how it works to see results. So be responsible for what you're bringing into the space. So that is part of the 21 day pledge to purge that you can find within the course. And I hope that you will take that and be serious about your efforts to declutter and stay decluttered. I want to congratulate you when you sign up for the class. You are taking the first step to taking action. You've recognized that you want to make a change and you're taking action. That's the difference between success and failure many times. And I've said it so many times on other episodes of Upcycling with Deb. 
the people who succeed versus the people who stay where they are is that people who succeed take action. And that's exactly what you're doing now. If you continue to take action, you are absolutely going to be successful in your efforts. So for the structure of the class, it's easy. All you have to do is go to the website, www.thedebsite.com and go to the tab for webinars. There you can sign up for the class for free for now. <laughs> and you can take a look at the structure, print out the syllabus, um, see the overview, etc. You'll take a look at the syllabus for the week, see what light homework is required and requested, and keep up with your daily purging. And then you can watch or listen to the week's lecture. And perhaps you might even listen to the lecture while you're decluttering your house. If you keep up with the bite-sized tasks that are out there and requested for each day, at the end of the class, you'll be 200 items lighter or more, and you will have posted a couple of items online, possibly to sell, and you'll get a whole host of inspiration and new ideas and tools that you can use to keep your space decluttered going forward. Ah. You can breathe a sigh of relief. Feels great to have a space that feels clean and lighter, and you'll feel better too. So that's it for now. Remember to get in touch with me by going to www.thedebsite.com. And also you can subscribe to my Upcycling with Deb podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud and other providers. Thank you very much for listening to this. I can't wait to get started with you for the online webinars and to help you with your decluttering efforts. I'm so excited to hear about all of your success. Mm -hmm.